Hello, I'm coming to you today from the floor of my craft room. Can't talk today. Um, I thought I would show you my drawers here. <laughs> um, in these drawers, in the top two drawers of this cabinet thing, um, I have um, basically been collecting over the course of the time I've been LARPing um, masks for LARP. Now, oh, just take this whole drawer out, let's make it easier. Um, I don't actually run a LARP myself and I'm not a, um, I'm not a ref or anything, but I thought in case I ever do decide to um, to do something like that, I would start uh, collecting pieces for for doing that, um, and also so that I don't always have to share masks. If, for instance, I go and I'm feeling a bit sick or something, it's not really fair to share a mask. So I can bring my own mask and then disinfect it when I get home. Um, so basically I have a bunch of masks um, I've what I t t tend to do is I will go to after Halloween like the day after or the couple of days after Halloween I'll go to the ha Halloween section of the shop um, and it's usually like just supermarkets and things like that I'll go to that section and everything will be reduced and some of the masks will be going for like a pound or something because they want to get rid of it quickly. Um, so I have this one, which is like a werewolf. And then I have these as well, which are very similar, but like the, the colour is slightly different. As you can see, I think it uses the same... Um, uh, mold or something when they when they're doing the mask but they they've just painted it different and um I have two of this one and then I also have this big one which is a bit squashed but this one goes over the whole head and it gives a bit more of a impact I think and you can actually put this in your mouth and make it talk. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, then I have these. I have two of them. They're like little bird skull things. Um, and then I have some comedy masks. These ones are like, this one's a unicorn. I'm sure, you, sure we've all seen those. And I've got one that's just a horse. Um, I probably won't use those for anything <laughs> they're just like a comedy thing really but they're in there as well um, I have a random ear in here I'm not sure where the other one is um, but I don't use those hard oh no there's the other one yeah I have two of those then um, but these are the hard plastic plastic ones that I don't use anymore I used to use these for my um, first lap that I've started going to started uh, well for my first lap character um but I don't use it for her anymore um I use latex ones now um so let me just put all this back and then we can show you the next the next drawer okay so I can go back in there so ideally I would like to either start reffing at the LARP that I go to already or um, do like a one shot campaign of something um, and that's why I've kind of been collecting masks over time. Um, there's this one which is actually my boyfriend's mask, um, he traded it for something. Um, I think he wants to use it for character at some point. Um, I think he just thought it looked cool more than anything. <laughs> it's like a plague doctor mask. Um, we also have like um, one of those weird Venetian masks, which is here. 
kind of looks like that when it's on. So, um, going back to monster masks, <laughs> I also have this one, which is like a scarecrow, which I thought was kind of cool. I have two of those. And we have this pumpkin. Again, I have two. I was buying lots of things in twos. Um, I could, I, I would have bought more, but um, it would have gotten really expensive. Like even 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 though they're reduced, um, you know the the money does build up. So I buy buy a few every year, and it's I've I've got quite a lot anyway. So. <laughs> Um, I got this one, which I think is really creepy, and it actually almost completely obscures your eyes. So even though you can actually see, I mean, they can't see your eyes through it or your mouth. So it completely, I think it would be a really freaky thing to see somebody wearing this with like a black cloak or something. Um, my dad actually gave me this one. Um, it was one of his Halloween costumes. It's like a hag. Um, I have these as well, which um, they're like creepy clown things. Um, yeah. I'm not sure what I would use those for, but uh, there you are. And then I have all of these I have four uh five of them skeleton masks and what what I like about these is the eye holes are really big so even though it's not a half mask like it doesn't have the the, the mouth showing um it should still be pretty okay for me to see through and it's it doesn't have the back of the head covered so that helps as well um and then i have this one which uh i have this one which um it uh it's a zombie um and it does have the back of the head but it looks pretty cool so I didn't get that one reduced I just got it because I liked it and I think that's everything so yeah those are my masks and um, I hope you enjoyed my tour of my rubber mask collection it's 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 less uh, less of a creepy thing to show you than it sounds <laughs> sounds like it's a weird sex thing it's not a weird sex thing it's just masks <laughs> for <it> fill up <laughs> so yeah um i don't really know what else there is to say about that um basically if you're looking for masks halloween section um if you don't have like a, any shops that sell Halloween stuff at Halloween which is unlikely but it depends what country you're in if you go online after Christmas after Christmas after <laughs> if you go online after Halloween um stuff gets reduced online as well not as much as in the shops but still there is some stuff out there and I think actually the skeleton ones um that I got um, they were from online. Um, I think I got them from Amazon or something and they were like, must have been like two or three pounds each, something like that. And, um, you know, that's, that's pretty good for a, a, a rubber mask. They, do, they tend to last longer than, for instance, the hard plastic ones. So always go for the rubber ones, really. Um, yeah, and I guess that's the end of my tour of my drawers. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>